Did you know that eating tomatoes with certain foods can lead to cancer and dementia? Tomatoes, which are healthy on their own, can be paired with foods that either enhance or worsen their benefits. It's crucial to eat tomatoes the right way to maximize their health benefits. Today we'll discover three foods that are the worst to eat with tomatoes and three that are the best, all to help prevent cancer and dementia. Today's star is the tomato, ranked among the top 10 superfoods by Time magazine, a true miracle food. Tomatoes are rich in nutrients like vitamin C, potassium and dietary fiber. They also contain lycopene, a powerful antioxidant. There's even a fun saying, when tomatoes ripen red, doctors turn pale, implying that eating tomatoes keeps you healthy enough to stay away from doctors. Did you know that even with health-boosting tomatoes, there are foods that can harm your health when eaten together? Let's find out which foods to avoid and which to pair with tomatoes for maximum benefits. First off, the absolute worst combination with tomatoes is sugar. Are you surprised? On hot summer days, it's not uncommon to sprinkle a generous amount of sugar on tomatoes, add some ice, and enjoy them sweet or even pickle them in sugar. But let me tell you, sugar and tomatoes are a terrible match. This is because sugar destroys the nutritional value of tomatoes. Even if you're eating them for health, sprinkling sugar on top negates all benefits. When we eat, the body uses vitamin B to break down sugar. So, when you sprinkle sugar on tomatoes, it uses up the vitamin B in the tomatoes, reducing the amount that gets absorbed by our body. Moreover, the intake of sugar raises blood sugar levels, which is an even bigger problem. Elevated blood sugar can lead to various health issues, including an increased risk of cancer and dementia. Stay tuned as we explore the other two worst foods to pair with tomatoes, and reveal the three best combinations to enhance their health benefits. We all know sugar is bad for our health, right? Of course, having tomatoes sprinkled with a bit of sugar once in a while isn't a problem. However, our diet isn't just about one food item, it's about the bigger picture. The issue arises when we consume refined carbohydrates and sugar-laden meals regularly, and then top it off with sugary foods for dessert. According to data analyzed by the FDA regarding our national sugar intake, we're already exceeding the recommended amounts in our regular meals, and the habit of having sweet desserts is causing our yearly sugar consumption to seriously spike. Frequently consuming foods loaded with sugar can actually shrink your brain, especially the hippocampus, which is the center of memory. Guess what happens when your brain shrinks? Since the hippocampus is crucially related to brain functions such as reasoning, planning, judgment and memory, this definitely increases the risk of dementia. Beyond type 2 diabetes, it can even raise the risk of cancer. For the sake of your health, it's crucial to cut down on sugar intake starting today. So, how should we enjoy tomatoes? The first best food combination I recommend with tomatoes is surprisingly salt. Sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? You might be thinking sugar and salt are both bad for health and should be reduced. Of course, consuming them in large amounts is not really good, but pairing tomatoes with a little salt is beneficial. Tomatoes are very rich in vitamin C, which is essential for collagen production and fighting cancer. Not only does it protect your health, but it also keeps your skin healthy and youthful. However, the issue is that the vitamin C in tomatoes easily oxidizes when it comes into contact with oxygen in the air. Sprinkling salt on the cut surface of tomatoes creates a thin barrier that helps prevent the oxidation of vitamin C. Still worried about sodium and blood pressure? Tomatoes are very rich in potassium, which lowers blood pressure and reduces the risk of cardiovascular diseases. When you sprinkle salt on tomatoes, it balances out the potassium and sodium, leading to a positive effect on cell and energy metabolism. Furthermore, 
the salt sprinkled on tomatoes is expelled from the body through the diuretic action of potassium, which doesn't significantly increase blood pressure or cause other side effects. Feel free to enjoy this combination without worry. Secondly, the absolute no-go when it comes to pairing with tomatoes is spinach. You might think it's beneficial to eat foods rich in vitamin C like tomatoes with iron-rich spinach, especially if you have anemia or diabetes, and you'd be right in some cases. However, for those with weak kidneys, this combination is particularly harmful. The issue lies with oxalates. Tomatoes, which can accumulate calcium in the body, are rich in oxalates, and spinach is perhaps the most notorious source of oxalates. Even if you're not familiar with the name, you probably know that spinach should always be blanched in boiling water before eating. When oxalates bind with calcium in the blood, they form small, sharp crystals that accumulate in the body and can lead to kidney stones. This can cause muscle pain, reduced muscle strength, and even lead to kidney stones and cancer. Blanching or boiling can effectively remove oxalates, so those with weak kidneys should make sure to cook spinach and tomatoes this way. Pay attention here. There's an even bigger reason not to mix tomatoes and spinach. Iron in spinach can interfere with the absorption of lycopene from tomatoes. The reason tomatoes are hailed as a superfood is precisely because of their lycopene content. Lycopene is a miraculous ingredient that acts as a powerful antioxidant, reducing oxidative stress and inflammation in the body and preventing cancer. Research has shown that lycopene has incredible effects in preventing various cancers, including lung, prostate, breast and colon cancer. It's also great for vascular health, offering protection against arteriosclerosis and cardiovascular diseases. However, according to research from an American medical team, consuming tomatoes with spinach can cut the absorption rate of lycopene by half. So from now on, it's best to avoid eating tomatoes and spinach together. Instead of spinach, the second best food combination I recommend with tomatoes is the king of proteins, meat. In fact, tomatoes pair wonderfully with all proteins, including eggs, meat, and tofu. While tomatoes are packed with vitamins, beta-carotene, lycopene, and minerals, there's just one thing they lack, protein. Pairing them with high-quality proteins perfectly complements their nutritional profile. Among these, meat in particular is highly recommended. Hold on a moment. Are there any of you who believe consuming meat is bad for your health? Not at all. As you age, it's essential to include meat in your diet. The main reason is protein. Protein is a crucial component of our body, forming cells, muscles, enzymes, and hormones. A lack of protein intake can harm your dental health by causing receding gums or hair loss, and can lead to an inability to produce enough immune cells or antibodies to fight diseases. Of course, beans and tofu are excellent sources of protein, but plant-based proteins often lack essential amino acids or have them in smaller quantities. Animal proteins like meat are much more easily absorbed by the body than plant-based proteins, making them increasingly important as digestion weakens with age. Moreover, protein affects not just the muscles in our body, but also the muscles in our mind. Tryptophan found in meat is a precursor to serotonin, known as the happiness hormone, making it excellent for depression and mental health. Especially, the vitamin B found in pork activates brain functions, preventing dementia. But pay attention here, there's one issue with consuming such beneficial meat. Our body's fluids are alkaline, while meat is acidic. This is where our star, the tomato, comes into play. Tomatoes, being a representative alkaline food, when eaten with acidic meat, greatly aid in protein digestion and reduce stomach stress, making them a perfect match. 
Plus, the rich fiber content in tomatoes helps maintain a regular digestive system and prevents constipation, ensuring gastrointestinal health. The third worst tomato-based food for your health is tomato ketchup. Ketchup is the most famous sauce often paired with fries or processed foods. While these foods are problematic in themselves, ketchup adds to the issue. A single tablespoon of ketchup contains about 4 grams of sugar, which is more than what's found in many chocolate snacks. But that's not all. A closer look at the nutritional content of ketchup reveals it's full of high fructose corn syrup, salt, synthetic colorants and spices, including numerous sweeteners and food additives. Some people believe that ketchup containing tomatoes is healthier compared to other sources. However, the tomatoes in ketchup, due to processing and various additives, have already had their nutrients destroyed. So, the third and ultimate pairing I recommend with tomatoes is definitely olive oil. Here's an interesting tip. Tomatoes actually offer more health benefits when cooked rather than eaten raw. This is because heating tomatoes breaks down their cell walls, allowing the antioxidant lycopene to dissolve more easily. Now, here's the kicker. You can dramatically increase the absorption of lycopene by up to nine times simply by cooking tomatoes in olive oil. Lycopene loves fat because it's fat-soluble, meaning it's absorbed much better with fat. Olive oil, rich in omega-3s, is the perfect companion. Olive oil's oleic acid is a good fat that helps lower bad LDL cholesterol and protect your heart. It also helps increase the good HDL cholesterol, keeping your heart and blood vessels healthy. Plus, the polyphenols in olive oil create a powerful synergy with tomatoes lycopene, turning this combo into a top-notch cancer fighter. Tomatoes are special because the way you cook them changes their nutritional value. Eat tomatoes raw for vitamin C or cook them to get even more lycopene benefits. So whether you're adding fresh tomatoes to a salad with some olive oil or cooking them, always use olive oil to get the most benefits. So far, we've explored three foods that are the worst to pair with tomatoes and three that are the best. To summarize, skip the sugar with tomatoes and go for a sprinkle of salt instead. Instead of pairing them with oxalate-rich spinach, opt for protein-packed meats and ditch the tomato ketchup in favor of cooking with olive oil. How does that sound? I hope by choosing the right companions for the nutritious tomato and preparing them well, you'll safeguard your health. Thank you so much for joining me. If you found today's guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and please do share this video with your loved ones. I'll always be here praying for your health and happiness. Thank you.